Visual Logic will let you program by creating flowcharts. Flowcharts are traditionally used as a way to plan programming logic, but here with Visual Logic, you'll actually be able to run the flowcharts that you create. Traditionally, your first program in any programming language will be Hello World, where you simply seek to display text on the screen. In any flowchart, you always have a beginning and an end point. With Visual Logic, you can add things to your flowchart by clicking on the line between them. You'll have input, assignment, output, if conditions, for loops, while, exit. We can make arrays, graphics, call procedures, etc. We have lots of options in here. But for our very first program, we're simply going to create some output. Now traditionally, your input-output symbol will point the same way, which will be the actually the other direction, the one that Visual Logic is using for input. They've changed the rules a little bit to make it clearer to when you have input versus output by having your parallelogram point different directions. Just know that's not quite traditional. To make changes, you just double click on it. Now, your initial thought would be, if you're going to display something on the screen, like hello world, you would just type what you want to display and hit OK. And you can try this by hitting run. But there's an error here. Because in programming, you can't actually just work with text. Text is an example of a specific data type called a string. We'll explain more about data types in upcoming lectures, but really what it means for you is that any text that you want to display on the screen has to be encased in quotes. So put quotes around hello world, hit OK, run, and hit OK. It's displayed on the screen. Now I will want you to turn in this program which will indicate that you have properly set up Visual Logic, you can save your files, and that you can hand them in. So we're going to save, and I'm just going to go ahead and save this on my desktop, and I'm going to save it as Hello World, and then please hand this in through the Canvas course system.